What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel for another video. This is a vlog that's not a real vlog because I'm currently traveling through Europe, as you may or may not know already. If you wanna see where I am right now or where I've been so far, you can go ahead and check that out on my Instagram. We're gonna have lots of stuff up on there. So yeah, and then vlogs will be coming once I am back home. So I've pre-filmed a bunch of stuff for you guys. And today we are doing a cooking video because I know that you guys enjoy cooking with me. Um, and today's video is going to just sort of be winging it. I don't, um, I mean, I have a recipe in mind, but I'm not using any like recipe guide. Um, we are just, we're gonna go with the flow here, see what happens. So basically I'm leaving for Europe in just a few days. So I'm just trying to use up as much food that's in my kitchen as possible. So what I sort of have in mind is a chili dish uh, because I have a red sauce, I have my vegan ground beef. So I just feel like that'll work. I sort of don't have as much food as I thought, which is a good thing. <laughs> We're gonna use this green pepper, which is sort of starting to go bad, but I think is still totally salvageable. We're gonna use carrots, because we have a, literally an entire bag of carrots here. Not great. I have a little bit of mushroom left here, so we can use that. Obviously our beefless ground beef. Yeah, and then that just leaves us with our sriracha baked tofu and a few other veggie things that we can use for wraps throughout the week. But I think that puts us in a pretty good place as far as using up food. So I guess we'll start by just prepping our veggies. Oh yeah, I wanna use corn too, so let me pull that out so that I hopefully remember. Okay, starting with our green pepper here. I am so bad at cutting pepper still, like I still haven't really figured out the best way to go about doing it. So I just sort of wing it. <laughs> I basically just cut it in half, then in half again, and then clean out this inside area that has seeds. Oh my God, Molly's just running around like crazy. Now I'm just going to try to finely chop this pepper. Okay, there we have it. Lots of finely chopped green pepper. Amazing. Okay, sorry, we're back. I had to take a little break for a little work project that I had to get done. Again, I do wanna chop these fairly small. I hate cutting carrots. <laughs> Despite how much cooking I do, I'm really not that good at cutting things yet. Definitely room, no, ugh. Definitely room to improve. But we'll get there, right? I just love adding carrots into dishes because they always keep the dish just really bright and fresh tasting. It's so good. Okay, I feel good about all of that. That seems good to me. Now, let's start prepping some stirf. Get that big pan out, or pot, not a pan and get that starting to heat up with some oil in there. And we're gonna drop some garlic in there. If I had minced onion, I would definitely be using that, but I don't, so garlic it is. And let's pull some spices that we're gonna be using. Um, definitely some chili powder, chipotle, black pepper. Let's see, I think I want some cinnamon in here. Already gonna have garlic, salt, pepper. Okay, let's start with that. Just a nice big chunk of minced garlic and our oil. Just let that simmer away. Okay, yes, we're gonna get real simple now. Let me just, we're gonna go ahead and drop our carrots in there. Because they, actually, I think we can drop it off. Cause it's all gonna be in there for a while. Nothing needs more time than anything else, cause you know. I'll probably let this simmer for like 20 minutes in the end. All of this right inside of there to help release lots of water into the pot to keep everything moving and grooving. We want to add more oil, hopefully. Oh yeah. Let that continue to cook down. In the meantime, let's get this beefless ground beef open because it's a pain in the ass to get open. Basically, I'm just trying to get these a little, little, little bit browned just because it'll bring like a little bit more depth of flavor into it, hopefully. I think we might get crazy and add some soy sauce in there as well. Sweet, let's get this beef in there. Fake ground beef, that is. 
See, so I'm just sort of like squeezing it so that it starts to crumble a little bit so you don't have to do all the work in the pan. Then just dump it in there. And um, let me show you. So you'll still definitely have like some bigger chunks like this if you do it that way, but it should all crumble fairly easily. I basically just chop it like that. Chop, 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 chop. So that it gets all like ground up into the right texture. And mix it all in together. This is most definitely looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it so far. I think what I wanna do next is start with seasoning. So I'm gonna dare just to add a splash of soy sauce in there. I just think it'll give it some yummy flavor. Just a little, that was probably a tablespoon and a half or something. Oh, it smells so good. For the rest of the seasoning, we obviously need chili powder, a really healthy helping of that because this is chili after all, and this is what's gonna give it a chili flavor. So use a lot of that in there. Chipotle black pepper because that'll make it super yummy as well. Ba, 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 ba. Great. Cinnamon. I just think that that'll add a yummy flavor in there. And then some pepper. Just a little, since you already added that chipotle um, black pepper, and a little bit of salt since you already added the soy sauce. And that'll provide us with most of our salty flavor. And now mix it all in, combine it all. Oh, this smells so good, you guys. <coughs> okay, love that. That chili really came up and hit me. Do I dare add more garlic? I just love garlic, I'm gonna do it, forget it. Who cares what anyone says? Garlic powder, get in there. All over. Love it, sauce time. So this sauce is not ideal for chili because it's three cheese sauce. I didn't buy it with chili in mind, but that's what we're going with. So, love it. Let's just throw literally the whole thing in there. Perfect. And mix again. And we're gonna turn down the volume quite a bit. Just a nice medium heat. We want this to simmer and not do anything too crazy here. Amazing, let's add our corn in there. Just throw that in there. Okay, this is still bubbling so much, which is not what I want. So I'm gonna turn down the heat even more. Mix all of this in. Get that corn in there. You know how much I love corn. And I'm going to add some rice in there to cook with it as well. This could ruin the entire dish, I'm just saying, because I've never really done this before where I've just thrown it in to like hopefully cook with this. Like, are there instructions? Um, hmm. Do I do this? I mean, I think I should. I'm pretty sure the rice will cook in here. Pretty positive. Okay, this could be a really big fail if this messes up. And then we're literally just gonna leave it here to simmer for a while. Um, you know, I think it needs like some more moisture. I'm gonna add some water in there. Just a little bit, like half a cup of water. Just to like help give it a little bit more of something to cook in while it simmers here. I have it on pretty low heat. Let me show you what we're working with here. This actually has some potential to really, really be amazing. Look at how good this looks. Whoa. My question is, should I add more rice? Is that too risky of a game? I only added like one serving of rice in there and this is definitely more than one serving of chili. I'm gonna do it. If it's ruined, it's already ruined, so I might as well make it right in the, in being hopeful that it'll be right, right? Right, 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 right. Okay, fingers freaking crossed. And now, because of that rice, I feel like it needs slightly more water. Not a lot, but slightly. Okay, I'm adding in more seasoning now. And I want something different. I want some Italian seasoning in here. Or no, oregano, that's what I want, not Italian seasoning. 
Just get that in there. Let's do a little bit more chili powder. It's gonna feel like you really, you can't go wrong with chili powder in chili, right? And I think I'm gonna do a little bit more cinnamon as well, but no more chipotle black pepper. I'm gonna leave that cinnamon. And lastly, let's get crazy and we're gonna put some hot sauce in here. Just to add a little bit of heat. Amazing, this is looking great. Feeling really good about this. Um, we're gonna leave it for 10 minutes. Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. And then we're just gonna see, see how it's going. I have it turned down pretty low. Put the lid on. Again, just to help it simmer. And um, we're gonna see what happens. Fingers crossed. <laughs> okay, you guys, the chili is done. In total, I probably let it simmer for between 15 and 20 minutes. I didn't document this because I was on the phone, so it was just like too much, but when I first opened the pot, there was a whole layer of water just sitting on top when it was like simmering, and I was like, shoot, this isn't good. But I literally just mixed it, and it immediately went into it, and I haven't had that problem again, so if that happens to you, don't panic, just mix. Um, also, um, the first bite that I tried of it was very spicy. And I mean like very spicy where I was coughing because it was just spicy. So depending on your spice level, maybe don't add as much chili powder and hot sauce as I did. I don't know what I was thinking, but honestly, one, I think that was my hottest bite. Or I think that now I'm going in expecting it to be hot so it's not as startling. And now I'm sort of really glad with the heat level that it's at. And the rice did cook in perfectly, so. I feel great about that. It looks chunky and delicious and amazing. Like, holy yes. That is just like, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And this would have been totally vegan if I had something other than a three cheese red sauce, but you know, it's fine. And luckily it doesn't taste cheesy, which is sort of why I added so much chili because I didn't want to have a cheesy taste in my chili. That is a lot of extra chili, <laughs> but it's gonna be so good. Also just realized that I made that whole recipe in one pot. Very nice, cleanup was so easy. I literally just wiped down that pot and that was it. So also very ideal and I feel like one pot recipes are very in right now, very trendy, fun, we love it. Okay guys, I'm just finishing my first bowl here of chili and I wanna wrap this up and give you some final thoughts. First of all, delicious. It actually turns out it's not too spicy at all. It's definitely spicy. It leaves a, a tingle in my mouth, but nothing that's unbearable. And I don't have a super high tolerance for spice. It's definitely getting higher, but um, I really think that this, this spice mount would be okay for people who like spice, but like aren't looking for something that's gonna ruin their taste buds. <laughs> the one thing I think I would change in this is it needs more carrot. Whenever I get a carrot in the bite, it's the best bite. It just brings something really different to the bite. I feel like everything else, the flavors, sort of um, blend together a little bit in a really good way. Um, but when you get the carrot in there, it brings in something totally new, which I really like. Successful recipe, if you ask me. First bowl done. <laughs> and honestly, that amount filled me up pretty well and um, I was pretty hungry. It's already eight o'clock and I hadn't had dinner yet. I think I'm gonna go back for just a little, little bit more just because it tasted yummy, but super filling, super delicious. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, once again, shameless plug, check me out on my other social media, especially Instagram, so you can check out what I'm up to in Europe right now. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.